Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 99, brought to you in association with ASB. This is our morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 200 points or more than 3% and the S&P 500 is down 3.5% to a 1996 low. This came after Chinese Premier Wen Jiaobao said he did not need to add to a stimulus plan. Many people in the markets had expected another Chinese stimulus plan. They didn't get it. Meanwhile, General Motors auditors say that the company is not a going concern, which means that it can't sign off on its accounts. And Citigroup, the world's biggest bank, or what was the world's biggest bank, has just traded below $1 a share. It's now penny stock. Now, part of the reason the Dow is down is that Moody's cut the outlook for JP Morgan's rating to negative from stable, and it says it will review the ratings of Bank of America and Wells Fargo. The banking disaster in the US just will not stop. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, the Bank of England has cut its official cash rate by 50 basis points to 0.5%, and says it will buy back £75 billion worth of UK government bonds, or gilts as they're called there. This essentially is printing money, or quantitative easing, and it's just the start. They plan to buy back £150 billion worth of bonds, both government and corporate bonds. Now this came at the same time as the worst 30-year gilt auction, or government bond auction, ever. Very low number of bidders, and the yield went up, because they all fear a big amount of government bond issue to pay for all these deficits, and also they fear inflation now that the Bank of England is printing money. Meanwhile, the, across, across the English Channel, the European Central Bank cut its official cash rate by 50 basis points to 1.5%. That's the lowest level since the euro started in 1999. And next Thursday, we expect the Reserve Bank to cut its official cash rate by up to 100 basis points to 2.5%. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. Thank you.